Hello and welcome to Miss Ma's class. This is my series, What You Need to Know, and we're going to be talking about binomial theorem. So binomial theorem ba basically says if I want to expand something like x plus y to the n, then I can use Pascal's triangle to do it. Pascal's triangle. Let me just write that out there. Uh, if you don't remember how to construct Pascal's triangle, basically how we do it is we start with a 1 and a 1, 1, and then we have 1's on the outside, and we add up the numbers above it. Okay, so this is 1 plus 1, which is 2. And we'll put 1's on the outside, and we'll do 1 plus 2, which is 3. 2 plus 1 is 3. 1's on the outside, 1 plus 3 is 4. Four plus, or sorry, 3 plus 3 is 6, and 3 plus 1 is 4. Okay, and so forth. So we can keep going in our triangle, and that's Pascal's triangle, right? So basically, binomial theorem says that if I'm going to expand something like x plus y to the 5, then I want to use the fifth row of Pascal's triangle, by which I mean I want to do the one that starts with a 5. So this is the 5 here, so I know that this is going to match to the 5, right? So just continue one more row. So these are going to be the coefficients of my expanded polynomial, and so I get x plus y to the 5, and basically for the x's I'm going to descend, so I'm going to start at 5, x to the 5 plus, and then I'm going to get x to the 4, uh, x to the 3, you can see I'm leaving some spaces, x to the 2, x to the 1, and x to the 0, okay? For the y's, I'm going to start at 0, and I'm going to move my way up. So 0, 1 of them, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the coefficients are just going to be here. So 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, and 1. And this is the expanded polynomial, just like that. Okay, so I can do that with a whole bunch of different ones. And... Um, so maybe I'll try a really hard one for my next example. So I'll do x minus y to the 7. Okay, so we're going to continue our Pascal's triangle. 1, 6, 15, 20, tw uh, 15, 6, 1. <laughs> Just be careful. Uh, 1, 7, 21, 35, 35, 21. 7 and 1. So this is a 7, So this is, and this is a 7. So th I know I want to use this row. I'm going to do x to the 7 minus 7x to the 6y plus 21x to the 5y squared minus 35x to the 4y to the 3 plus 35x cubed y to the 4 minus 21x squared y to the 5 plus 7 x y to the 6 minus y to the 7. Okay, so you can see that because I have this minus here, oops, um, I'm doing minus plus minus plus, and it's alternating all the way through. If I have a plus, then you can see these are all added together. Okay, so I can have all at all pluses in the x plus y, but if I have x minus y, then I'm going to have to subtract. All right, so I'm going to give you one more to try on your own before I leave you. So why don't you try making your own Pascal's triangle and try this question out, and then I will get by, right back to you. So try um, 2x minus 3 to the 6. Okay, so pause the video, and I will pause the video, and then you can check to see if you have the right answer. Okay, hello and welcome back. So um, you can see that I've just expanded it with my minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, and I've got 2 to the x, 2 x to the 6, uh, 2 x to the 5, and so forth. And then when you expand it, make sure that you're really careful. This 2 x has to be 2 to the 6 times x to the 6. So make sure that you are looking at the coefficients as well as you are uh, doing the powers, okay? And you should get this answer. Um, if you have any questions, you can come and ask me in class. And thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.